Yellow's gone. Green is out. It's time for the Boyd Speedway Podcast, brought to you by Cindy's Choice. This is Larry Dismukes with the Boyd Speedway Podcast. We have a great show today. We've got Zane. Zane is not 10. Zane's 10 and a half years old and drove in the cabin fever race. And we've got one of Dane's, Zane's very good friends, Danielle. Danielle is 17. She's in the 11th grade. Hey, guys, how are you doing? Uh, good. Danielle? I'm good, too. So, Zane, I'll start with you a little bit. Ten and a half years old. You've been racing, I understand, since 2017. So, this is your, this is your third season. How in the world did you get behind a race car at basically age um, eight? Yes. My dad. Your dad got you into it? Yep. We started off in go-karts. Off in go-karts. Okay. So you started out go-kart racing. How, what was it like in your first race? Um, I was nervous. I bet. I bet. At your age, I was trying to figure out how to make my bicycle go fast and jump a hill. So this is uh, how many races now have you run, Zane? Uh, on dirt cars would be my third. Third race. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. you, and you've won two races? Did I understand that right? Yes, sir. Wow. What did the kids at school say when you went back to school and told them you won a race? They didn't believe me. They didn't believe you? You showed them the big trophy? You <laughs> no. showed them the pictures, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. Now, I understand your dad's a race car driver. Your family, your family's deep-seated into racing. So I just have one question before we switch. Family tradition. Kind of a family tradition. So I understand your, is it your grandfather that operates the pits for you? He's yep, back he's to, cr- yep. He's your crew chief. Yep. So I just have one question. Yeah. Your dad's out on the track racing. You're out on the track racing. It's coming down the straightaway for the checkered flag. Your dad's just slightly ahead of you. Are you bumping him out of the way to take the, take the checkered flag? Mm-hmm, yes. <laughs> there you go. I'll step in on a yes, he would, because he's he, he's just like me. He's very, very competitive. And it wouldn't matter if I was in front of him or whoever. He's going, I mean, he's going to do it. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Now, Danielle, you've been racing for about three months. Is that right? Yes. So how did you decide to get behind the wheel of a race car? I mean, 11th grade, 17 years old. You know, I, I was in high school trying to figure out, okay, who am I taking to the homecoming dance or who am I taking to the prom, much less get behind the wheel of a race car. It's kind of a family tradition. My dad raced, his dad raced, my cousins all raced, and I grew up at the racetrack. And I finally convinced him last year to let me go buy a race car. I'd saved up enough to buy one. Wow. So you worked and saved money at a job to get your own race car. Yep. <laughs> Very she cool. Took half of our college fund and decided she was going to put it towards a race car. <laughs> yeah. That was hard, a hard bike to, uh, to take. <laughs> wow. Wow. Now I understand, Danielle, one of your sponsors is Zane's family's business. Is that right? Yes. So you guys are all very close knit families back and forth race car families. Yes. So Danielle, would you bump Zane if you had a chance to win the race? Cuz I already heard Zane would bump anybody to win. <laughs> yeah, I would. You would? She says that I, I fear that she might not because um she really looks <laughs> she really looks at people um in a different angle, I guess and her that'll be her weakness is she's not going to want to hurt anybody's feelings <laughs> it's gonna that'll be her hardest part probably will be hurting somebody's feelings to pass them as they go when she does get up there and starts winning so i look forward to that day when she's strong enough to get up there and pass the front like that i've been racing <laughs> right there you go rubbin's racing exactly zane and what are you going to do with the money zane when you win uh put it back in my dirt car. there you go Danielle, what about you when you win? Does it go back to the college fund or back in the car? 
Back in the car. <laughs> there you go. Good answer. Good answer. Mom, what do you think about all that? Um, I'd have to say, uh, is if that's what she wants to do with it, that's what she wants to do with it. Um, I would love to see her put it towards college funds, but she's always going to put it back towards the car because she worked hard enough to get there. So she has always wanted a race car since she was probably four or five years old. Uh, and I just really never thought she would put herself in the shoes to do it, but she has really proven uh, a whole new angle in her life. That's exciting stuff. Now, mom, do you get nervous when she goes out no. on the track? No, no, I don't get nervous. I, 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 may worry for her maybe like um her she gets anxious sometimes before she goes out but i think that's everybody that gets out there um in the beginning but yeah i worry more about her like comfort level but not as far as safety now we bought her the best that we could buy and everything so i don't worry about that now zane's dad I got to tell you, I'd be nervous if I was you because Zane just put a mark out on you and said he was gonna he was gonna bump you out of the way to win the race. <laughs> I tell you, you know, I, I love it, especially as being a former, you know, a racer myself. Um, grew up in this business, you know, and be honest with you, I see a lot where my dad came from when I first started racing years ago, and. You know, I, I told myself years ago at, at his age, I was going to wait till he's about 13, 14. Um, in go-karts, he was just, I mean, he was just such a wheel, man. And it's just one of them things, you know, it, things came to I Actually, I, I put him in my race car, was it last year? Last year, I put him in my race car. We put two cushions on the bottom and put a cushion in the back. And I was just expecting him to go out there, you know, and just put around. Well, I think it was about his second lap into it. He was fully in the throttle. And wow. So, Dad, how fast? Honestly, I just kind of, Dad, how kind fast of just you? I broke down and started crying because, I, I mean, I was just shocked, you know. I was just like. Oh, I bet. Wow. This, this is happening. Weird. Yeah, this is happening. This is exciting. Yeah. It happened a lot quicker than it happened a lot quicker than what we expected, but um, I just I had that feeling in him. I mean, I believed in him. You know what I mean? My nerves kind of went away, and after that, it was just like it was whatever the best I could get him to do what it takes to do the job. And I mean, just the kid's got a natural talent, and it's just something you can't hold back. You know what I mean? And I'm thankful. As a father, I'm very thankful for these tracks around here that run these driver development classes and stuff like that because, I mean, as me, as a race car driver, I wouldn't want him out there learning with us out here running, you know, okay. with, with like with what we run. I mean, you couldn't right. throw somebody like that out there and expect him to do good. So right. these tracks that's doing this, I, you know, just great, and I'm glad that they've got a chance to kind of shine a little bit, learn to, you know, learn to trade. But I mean, I, I've seen some kids that really came up in this sport and that was probably one of the best classes that I've seen them come up with for them to be able to learn in this sport. You know? Well, that's very true. You're so right because you know, the, the Zanes and the Daniels of the world, they're the future of racing. If we don't get kids involved in racing, then, you know, at some point, where do we go from here, right? So exactly seat time. That's exactly where they get. You know, seat time is exactly what my husband's always talking about it. Like they need seat time more than they need anything. Yeah, we're we're listen. That's one of the first things that you know when when we bought the racetrack. Um, you know, our 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 owner and we sat down and talked with Riley Hickman, who, uh, who manages the track. And Riley said, Hey, this is really important to him is really important to racing. And we fully support it. We, um, we will be announcing here shortly, but we will have a chase race season at Boyd's and the beginners class Zane, this is for you, buddy. 10 races, 10 races. Whoever wins the most points is going to win the grand prize uh, at our uh, Clash of the Titans race in October. We got 27 races scheduled this year. So, so what's next up on the schedule for you guys? Zane, Danielle, where's the next race? 
Um, Boyd Speedway, right? Good answer. March the 13th, the Shamrock Race. Mm-hmm. And then your dad's going to Bristol, right? And then my dad's going to Bristol. Right? I was going to ask about that. So your dad's racing. You mean you hadn't bumped him out of the way so that you could get in the car and race at Bristol? If it wasn't Bristol, if it wasn't, if it wasn't for being Bristol, he'd be there. <laughs> <laughs> Next time around when you're 11, Zane. Next time around, you'll be running at Bristol. Well, listen, guys, as as, right. as parents, so, you know, what would you guys recommend to some of the people listening to the podcast whose kids want to get into racing? What's the most important things you want to tell them? You know, I can't say it enough, and it's just safety. You know, spend the money and safety quick, you know. Don't go out here. I mean, here's my biggest thing. Don't go out there and buy them junk and go out there and find one that's been sitting in a field for years and then try to, you know, make something work. Try to, you know, spend a little bit of money, get them something good to drive, get them safety equipment, you know, helmets, neck restraints, all that, you know, good fire suits, stuff like that. I mean, that's where it all, I mean, like, I'll be honest with you, Zane, <laughs> I think it's what your first or second practice. Bert, he actually Bert. flipped up there at Boyd's. It's oh, Bert. wow. I think it's the second Bert. time, first time out. And honestly, I thought it had been done, but he was more mad because <laughs> he was supposed to go test all day that Saturday. He didn't get to go test because he tore his car up. But he had always gotten on to me about tightening his belts up a little too tight. But he, he thanked me after that flip because he was just like, you know, I'm glad you tightened them things up because – I'm not hurt. You know what I mean? So biggest thing, safety equipment. That's the biggest thing. Yeah, we didn't we didn't skimp on safety equipment either. That was something that Andrew and them taught us as well, like making sure that we we made sure we got everything top of the line um, for Danielle. Um, she went down to Atlanta and picked up some of the, the best that she could find as well. We just want to make sure that kids are safe more than anything. And then I'd, I'd have to say as a parent, um, just let your kids be kids. Um, I mean, it is important to learn the rules, but they, they still get to be kids out there. They get to um, make mistakes and learn from them. And I, I really appreciate, like we were, Andrew was saying, the tracks over here that are having the beginner classes because it gives Danielle some seat time. It gives her time to realize, you know, learning how to get into race gear, learning how to, to shift the, you know, the car around and to, to know what it feels like to, to feel the rear end slide around and not panic or, um, little things like that that you don't normally they wouldn't normally know or understand so i definitely i'm glad for the seat time okay guys well uh we certainly appreciate you guys coming on the show we're gonna look forward we're gonna watch zane you and danielle i got Thank a feeling oh you're absolutely we we love having you guys on the show but watch closely because I got a feeling that Danielle's coming after you when we uh, have the Shamrock race, and I'm going to be watching. We're going to have one of those big checks to pass out there, and then we're going to be following up with you guys after the race to sort of see uh, how everybody did. Thanks again for being on the show, moms, dads. Make sure you come to the pits and see us. We Absolutely. I will be out in the pits to come and see you guys. Uh, thanks again for joining us. This is Larry Dismukes with the Boyd Speedway Podcast. We will be at you again next week. Thanks, guys. Thanks again, everybody, for tuning in to the Boyd Speedway Podcast brought to you by Cindy's Choice. We'll see you next time.